guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl stephanie charlena marie welcome to charlena marie lifestyle so today as you saw we just had a little mini vlog of my day sometimes it's like not enough hours in my day so i did receive a rug from wayfair i'm very excited the black and white rug behind me i'm going to be removing for now i'm going to send it to um probably um probably hagopian um rug cleaner and to get it cleaned as wool but i have a new rug and it's also wool i believe it has some cotton content we will get into it in a second but i chose this rug a because it was one of my gifts from wayfair to review and B because of the quality because I love a quality rug I love light bright rugs and this rug even though it is creams and it brings in certain colors it's a representative it's a representation of warmth this particular rug that's what I love I love to bring in different seasons um, buy my decor in a sense of in a rug I don't usually go out and buy fall decor like a lot of different leaves and different things that you know some people choose to bring in the, to bring into their home which I love that for them but just not for me I'm more so like I'm like a seasonless household and what I mean by that is I might change our rugs and certain things but I just like to use texture such as changing the covers on my pillows on my couch I don't buy a new pillow I may have I buy different pillow um, the covers that go on the inserts and I do little subtle changes that way. Um, so we're going to jump into it I'm going to show you what's behind me and as you can see let's see let me pan down a little bit so you can see So this is currently how my living room coffee table looks. This is the rug. I actually love my coffee table setup. I may change something eventually, but just not right now. I actually love the setup. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. But the rug is what I want to focus on today. So the rug is a cream and a black. I love the rug, but we just want to change it out. We're going to zhuzh up the room a little bit and we're going to see how changing out a rug can cozy up a space or just make a space appear to be different. So when you're changing a room, you don't have to go buy like millions of pieces of decor to actually um, get a different look. Something as simple as changing a rug can really transform a space.
guys, I just want to give you a reminder. Make sure that you vacuum your wool, cotton, silk rug, or even if you have another um, type of rug with different materials. You don't want any dust or dirt to settle between the fibers because it will lessen the longevity of the rug. Even though I'm going to get this rug professionally cleaned, I want to preserve this rug for as long as possible. And so that's just a little tip. Hey guys, so I just used my um, Dyson V10 on my wool rug and I'm not supposed to. I have a special vacuum for that because you're supposed to use a vacuum with um, you're supposed to use a vacuum with a um, with no bar beater thingy and the Dyson does have the bar beater thingy but I don't care I'm just using it because I'm just too tired to go upstairs to get the other vacuum but <laughs> don't do that follow the instructions on your rug <laughs> don't do it so you guys I thought my dog had to go outside but he didn't he just foiled and wanted a treat. Typical night behavior. This is another thing that I really love about wool rugs. They're very, uh, you can maneuver them very well. Like wool rugs are easy to store. In my opinion, that's what I noticed about my wool rugs. They're very easy store and this wool rug let me see I think this is a five by seven This Dyson vacuum is such a game changer. As you can see, I'm vacuuming my hardwood floors. It gets all of the little dust particles off of my floor. It helps to maintain the overall sheen and just health of my floors. If you do not have a Dyson vacuum, I highly recommend getting one. It's definitely a game changer. Yeah, this Dyson goes everywhere I go. Every room I go in, I bring my Dyson with me. I love my Dyson. It makes life so much easier. So my new rug came tied with these little yarn ties. And I'm gonna use this to tie up my um, black and white rug. That way, when I transport it to get clean, I don't have to worry about it falling in loose or unroll, unrolling, I should say. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? Okay, So that's another thing like a rug is not a must-have for a room but as you can see the floor just looks a little bare without it even though I don't have the table placed there the floor really looks bare without the rug being there the rug really helps anchor the space in this room um, I didn't go with a larger rug because this is an older home and nothing centered the entryway is wide and 
off center from the fireplace it's like this room is long and rectangular so with that being said it makes it difficult to really have a um, rug that anchors each piece of furniture I've had larger rugs I really like a five by seven even though I know it goes um, against the feng shui in this instance it works better for the space sometimes you have to go against feng shui to work do what works for your home a larger rug does not work for my space because it takes up too much floor space and so it just makes it look like a huge piece of carpet it doesn't really complement the room you guys the dress that I have on is a Detroit brand it is called luxury gossip I will leave the link um, to her website in my bio or my description of my YouTube video I had this dress on all day I wore it to the salon to the store and now I'm cleaning my house and putting down a new rug clearly I do not want to take this dress off it's beautiful and it's comfortable all in one shout out to luxury gossip so um, when choosing the color the color stain for my floors these are the original hardwood floors in this area this home was built I believe in 1928 original hardwood floors I did have them stained I can't remember the stain I did not want to go like really really black really glossy but I did want something deep like a brown and this has like a tannish undertone I didn't want anything really with a large red undertone it has a little bit of red but I chose a more traditional floor because um, it really pops against um, the neutral taupe that I have um, my living room and dining room painted the hallway is painted um, I believe it's steamed milk but it's very light airy and neutral I really love the balance that the dark hardwood floors gives and it gives um it's more traditional something I can live with longer so I didn't want to go with anything light to yellow that would clash with furniture okay Whew. okay so the new rug is a five by eight so maybe the other world was a five by eight I don't know so this rug I believe the other rug was a five by eight as well okay so it's 80% wool 20% cotton and it's by a company by the name of new story it's spelled n u s t o r y on this rug if you have a vacuum with a beater bar such as my dyson it has the you know beater bar in there i can raise it to the highest level and then use it on this rug and i guess it won't affect it i don't know if i said rotate the rug but it's saying to rotate the rug meaning you want it to wear evenly you don't want one side looking brand new the other side looking a little worn but I, I am here to tell you that wool does wear very, very well. Very well. Okay, and what else? I think that's it. It's by a company called New Story. So this is the rug. And as you can see, it's like cream. It does have a tinge of brown or like tan, beige, gray. I was here for it. It reminds me of like a cozy winter sweat sweater. Let me say that again. It reminds me of a cozy winter sweater. So it's like sweater weather almost. Hey, sweater weather. I think there is a Bath and Body Works candle called sweater weather. Sweater weather. Something like that. Anyways, so this is the rug. I must say it's very thick. As you can see here it's definitely thick so even though even though it is not considered to be high pile I don't think it's a thicker rug it's definitely not thin I'm not going to use a rug pad because the table that it sits on top of is the table that this rug sits sits under is so heavy this rug is not going anywhere and besides the back of the rug 
it didn't say I needed a um, what do you call it the thing to go under the rug a rug pad yes it didn't say I needed a rug pad so I'm not going to use a rug pad but normally when I use my wool rugs I don't use a rug pad especially if it's going to be anchored under something heavy I do have one in my hallway and I do have a rug pad because that one is easier to move or slip and fall. This one will be a-okay. Let me stop rolling it out. Let me put it down first. Okay, you guys, it's a yes for me. Ooh, so pretty. I'm in love. This is it. This definitely gives me fall vibes. I can't wait to have my glass of wine, cuddled up on the couch with my candle. This is a vibe. Don't quote me, I will link the rug. I think the rug was like 400 bucks. So it's not that expensive. And when I say not that expensive, wool and cotton rugs are expensive. And that's just the reality of it and so that's anytime I have an opportunity to get one I do because I do like to switch out my rugs and I love for them to be wool it can be mixed with a little cotton but the longevity overall is what gets me so I can have these rugs literally for the rest of my life if they're properly taken care of and so I know my style so once you know your style you know what you like and you can interchange the rugs like the black and white rug I'll put that back out you know probably spring towards summer then I can have this for the winter it, it judges up the room give you a different look and you don't have to like go and buy other decor pieces because remember I like a seasonless look we got it we here all right so what do you guys think? I want you guys to comment. Maybe I need to bring the camera a little closer and go down some with the camera so we can get a closer look at the rug. But this is it. So how I'm gonna gauge it of where it's gonna be is I'm going to move this chair guys think about this rug let's let me bring you in some more so you can see the texture you here for it I'm here for it
so you guys so you guys I'm like thoroughly like impressed with the quality of this rug and just how it transformed my living room space into something just really cozy and warm and chic I'm here for it very luxurious it's just a vibe it's a whole thing and I'm definitely always here for the vibes always here for the vibes actually do have an idea I want to possibly switch up my book area right here like to something a little different I think but I don't want to do anything right now because truth be told I don't want to spend any more money on decor right now because I always spend money on decor and I need to repurpose books are the same color like it, it kind of goes with the theme of this room guys we're done so I'm going to get my camera Ooh, this is tight and pan this area so you can get a better view Can't too far down because we got shoes right here just do not judge me you guys you gotta get it together okay so this is the new rug and I just want you to see how it looks in this space But just look. Look at the texture of that rug. Do you guys think it made this space look different? Let me know. I do. It just brought a sense of calm in this room. To me, I love the black and white rug. Don't get me wrong. I will use it again. But the black and white rug was very, um, it was a pop of busy because of the abstract look that it had. This has no pattern and so it's more subtle. But it's equally as beautiful. I have the furniture on it to kind of hold it down into that part of the rug decides to relax. But I just want you to see what we have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to Charlene Marie Lifestyle.
see you guys next week. Bye.